Hey, Tommy Hodges here with DigitalMediaTutorials.com. Today I'm going to show you how to touch up the skin. Notice that um, I, I had started working on removing some of the blemishes from the forehead. Compare this one to this one, and as you can see, lots of blemishes. Well, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those using the Healing Brush Tool and the Spot Healing Brush Tool. And if you get into a little bit of trouble, we can also turn to the clone stamp tool. Click on your after layer. Remember, uh, this is the third part of our mini series. So, um, in case you're wondering, I've made a, uh, I have um, two layers at the bottom here, after and original. Um, the after layer is the layer that um, obviously we're going to make changes to, and the original we're not. So, uh, in the first part. We duplicated this and labeled it. As far as these lay layers are concerned, this is part of the, the suntan, and I showed you how to do that in the first part of the mini series, which was episode five. I know it's confusing. Just nod your head and say you understand. I'm going to click on my after layer, and now I'm going to zoom in on a blemish. Left click and hold, and you want to grab your spot healing brush tool. Now this is a really cool tool. Let's bring our paintbrush down, change the diameter, make it small and uh, move this, change this to normal, make sure the type is proximity, and do not sample all layers. We only want to sample our after layer. Left click once, look at that. Control Z to undo. Um, I'm going to change this to create texture. Now check this out. Look at that. Can you see it? Probably not. Let me zoom in so you can kind of see. It's very faint but it's, create, it's created a simple texture here. See there's a, di a difference between the pores on the skin here and this area. Photoshop's created its own texture. Now sometimes this works okay, but let's say you use the spot healing brush tool a lot and you start doing it. Oh, there's another blemish, another blemish, another blemish, another blemish. Oh, I want get to get rid of all these blemishes. And before you know it, your skin is going to start looking like a Barbie doll. It's going to look plastic because Photoshop is creating that texture. See that? That doesn't look good. I'm just going to click on File, Revert, and that'll bring the image back to its original save state. So let's get to it. Grab the uh, Spot Healing Brush, change this to Proximity Match, click on the After Layer, and let's start cleaning up. Here's a you know a mole. It's gone. Little red spot here goes away. So what's the difference between the spot healing brush tool and the uh, healing brush tool? The healing brush tool you can tell Photoshop sample this area and uh, when you're painting in the bad area it will look at the sampled area and determine how the image should look. So right here I have you know there's wrinkles in the face here so I'm gonna grab my healing brush tool and in this area this area looks good. Skin looks good here. Wrinkles here, good here. So I'm gonna, I want to sample this area. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And notice when I press the Alt key, you have this little target. I'm going to left click once and release. Now I am going to go to my skin over here and start painting. I'm going to left click and hold for a second. Notice that um, I have a little target area in the upper left hand corner of the screen. That's saying, hey, this is the area that we're sampling when you're painting. So you're going to have to resample occasionally. You're probably thinking you might want to resample now. Yeah, cuz look. Now it's now I'm getting the eyelashes. Okay? Just want to demonstrate that. Okay, before after. Before after. So that's a nice way to uh begin working on removing those wrinkles. Now if you grab your clone stamp tool, you have some different options with it. It's very similar to the healing brush tool, but with one major difference uh, up at the top, you can affect or change your opacity and your flow, um, which really comes in handy. I'm using the spot healing brush tool to kind of just go around and just kind of clean up the areas on the skin. I'm trying to make a a clean patch of skin. Notice I'm just left clicking, I'm not actually painting. Okay, so I basically started getting a, 
a nice clean patch. I can then grab my uh, clone stamp tool, hold down the Alt key, and paint out any wrinkles that you might have. Now this is a very long process, so it's not something that you can do in 10 minutes. Um, a lot of reselecting and then going over the area some more and notice that my flow is set to 12. Now when you start to get to when you start to get into areas where there's a difference in the shade of the skin that's when you really need to stop and use your healing uh, spot healing brush tool and go back to that area visit that area and create another nice clean patch of skin and it's important that you keep your flow really really low so the changes that you make are very minute so over here I could use my spot healing brush tool and once again start going around and cleaning up the area you're wanting to make good skin again the spot healing brush tool will also help out in those areas where you're uh, where there's a major or a significant change in the the uh, the color of your skin due to using the clone stamp tool. Um, sure there's lots of different ways to do this. Um, some of you will probably will be tempted to increase the size of your healing brush tool or your spot healing brush tool I should say. But then you might get this. See that? Once you're done you can have a nice cleaner face. That's all the time I have for today. I'm Tommy Hodges. Thank you for watching DigitalMediaTutorials.com. See you soon. Want to see more of my videos? Go to YouTube.com slash Tommy Hodges where you can find more tutorials or you can just simply subscribe. And then when I post a new tutorial, you'll be notified. I'm Tommy Hodges and thanks for watching.